Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty video on the channel. This one is going to be an in-depth story guide on, of course, Black Ops 4. We're talking about the classified Easter egg ending, which is very unusual that we had to get to round 150 to actually get the cutscene. But I'm going to be sort of playing the cutscene for you guys if you haven't seen it already, and then I'm going to be explaining it after. If you're going to enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that like button and, of course, subscribe with notifications turned on. It's probably the only thing that you can turn on, so you might as well take advantage of Ha! Let's get straight into this cutscene. They do not understand. The Earth, you saw it destroyed. Yet here we are. It's more time travel bullshit, Tech. Just hasn't happened yet. Speaking of BS. How the hell did you get back in your body, Doc? <laughs> Does it matter, Dempsey? I'll tell you what matters. Americans still give Nikolai his vodka. Is that your plan, Nikolai? Give up and drink yourself to oblivion? Or do you want to make a difference for once in your life? You. Ah, oh, Shiza. You four must come with us. In time, it will make sense. Oh. Now. Intruders on the base. Hangar four. Oh. Now we must go. Quickly. There is a war to be fought. War? What kind of war? A war unlike any you have ever seen. The Great War. Really, really interesting cutscene. Now, we knew... Um, already anyway because it was a big mystery when you played Black Ops 1 or even went into Black Ops 2 you're like what happened to the crew that was on Moon and a radio in Classified actually confirmed that our characters essentially were trapped in Hangar 4 which is where we see them sort of in a cell. So the cutscene opens with sort of the whole query of I thought we saw the Earth destroyed and Dempsey sort of replies that it is the time travel bullshit sort of scenario. Um, how that's explained is basically we know that the teleporters can teleport items and people through time and space so they essentially got teleported back in time and space wise they got teleported from the moon in space really and down to Groom Lake. This is also confirmed in the radio. The scientists at Groom Lake were sort of testing the teleporter there and it basically teleported our crew from Moon down to Groom Lake. So essentially before they launched the missiles from Moon, or if you didn't know, these sort of older versions of our characters launched missiles to destroy Earth from the Moon and that's how sort of Black Ops 2 starts with the transit crew. So now that we're all brushed up on the time travel aspect of it, Dempsey then sort of goes on with his point about the whole bullshit thing to talk about how Rick Toffin got back in his body. So Originally in Black Ops 1, Rick Toffin and Samantha sort of swapped bodies or their souls went into each other's bodies and then Rick Toffin was controlling the zombies. So that was then reversed and they were teleported down to Groom Lake as I've said. From the comics then, which I've referenced in one of my Blood of the Dead explanation videos, we actually see zombie Rick Toffin basically receiving the blood that we know he is going to use to help cure this older Rick Toffin that's in Classified. Essentially, that, that's the best way I can summarize it. But Rick Doffin, obviously, this older Rick Doffin is very secretive. He's not going to really tell the other characters. And he never did really tell the other characters what he was up to and what his plans were or even what happened to him. And voila, we see the entrance then of our Blood of the Dead characters, presumably straight from Blood of the Dead. So teleporting straight through those portals that we see at the end of the Blood of the Dead ending cutscene. Possibly somewhere else, but near enough then heading straight here. Now I know a couple of questions are popping in your head, but do let me go on for a second. We sort of see a bit of a story arc there with Nikolai, it's like, oh, do you actually want to make a difference? Then old Richtofen sort of looks at the younger Richtofen, who we're assuming is the Primus Richtofen, who sort of got the blood of the dead Richtofen killed, or essentially left him to die. We're assuming then he switched out his clothes and then came here. So there's two assumptions so far, but that's the way we sort of do the zombie storyline until we get raw, concrete information. But the old Richtofen sort of recognises the young Richtofen and I don't know if a lot of people picked up on that. He said, oh, it's you, but obviously in the comics it was the young Richtofen zombified. That's the one that helped the older Richtofen get back in his body. So there is a bit of recognition there. And then the final point is then they go on to discuss um, a war and then Nikolai reiterates the Great War. So presumably we are heading then 
to our next installment of this story in preparation for this great war or are they just going to give us DLC 1, 2 and 3 um, corresponding to the sort of new story they're going with or are they going to continue the Aether story along with DLC 1, 2, or 3 and 4 and then the fourth DLC I'm assuming would be the Great War and then sort of the big conclusion of the zombie storyline. I really don't know. Unfortunately all we can do is wait and see. But if you did go on to enjoy this video make sure you do of course smash a like on it. If you have any questions do leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed already and you're still here what are you waiting for? Make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, I'm going to leave the video here. Peace out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in another video or stream very, very soon.